Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have a rainy morning as well as mild temperatures across the region this morning. Uh, seeing our temperature already up to 57 degrees. Uh, should see that high today around uh, 58 to 59 degrees during the late afternoon evening hours. We'll see an area of low pressure moving through during the early overnight hours tonight. That's going to give us a good chance of some uh, moderate to heavy rainfall for a brief period of time uh, during the late evening into the early overnight hours, as well as an isolated thunderstorm, about 20% chance of a thunderstorm uh, during that time period as well. But overall, for the daytime hours today, we'll just see some uh, light to moderate rainfall across the region, becoming more showery in general once we move in the afternoon and evening hours. And as I mentioned, could see some uh, brief periods of heavier rain once we move into the evening hours tonight. And taking a look at our current uh, Radar imagery across the region, you can see we do have uh, some rainfall across the area, seeing some a little bit of higher DBZs off to our north this morning, uh, but overall seeing anywhere from that light to moderate rainfall and continue to see the rainfall throughout the day today, moving from the southwest to northeast across the area. And taking a look at our current sounding from this morning, freezing level 8,100 feet, winds out of the southeast around 20 knots to low levels and becoming more southwesterly and increasing slightly with height up to almost 40 knots at 25,000 feet out of the southwest this morning. Take a look at our current surface analysis. We have an area of low pressure uh, just off the coast of South Carolina, a cold front off to our west of the Ohio Valley. This area of low pressure will ride, around, ride along excuse me, a stationary boundary uh, just off our coast for tonight. That's going to give us our rainfall. And then we'll have this cold front move through uh, after this area of low pressure passes through the region. And that should end our uh, precipitation chances as we move into our Thursday morning. Could still, still see some lingering drizzle, but overall uh, the bulk of the precipitation will be over uh, just after midnight tonight, possibly lingering until about 2 local on Thursday morning. And taking a look at our current satellite imagery, you can see we do have lots of clouds out there across the region this morning. Going to see our ceilings lower uh, towards the evening hours today, and uh, we'll see those ceilings below 500 feet during the evening into the overnight hours and then continuing into Thursday morning. Taking a look at the Herm model for today into tomorrow, you can see the rain shower activity becoming more uh, scattered in general for the afternoon hours. Could see a few breaks in the uh, rain shower activity, but overall, once we move in the evening hours, we'll see a kind of a line of showers and impossible bedded thunderstorms move towards the region uh, for the evening hours and s could see some heavier rainfall with that move through. Uh, this run of the HER shows that activity moving through around 1 a.m. or uh, 6 UTC and then moving off the coast thereafter. I could still see some lingering drizzle, as I mentioned, during the morning hours tomorrow. And we will see abundant low cloudiness during the morning as well. So going to be a fairly cloudy Thursday. Uh, hopefully by Thursday afternoon we'll see a bit of a break in that low cloud. But uh, this time of year the low cloud does have a tough time moving out of the region once it's in the area. And taking a look at the European model the next few days, we'll see uh, that area low pressure that moves through tonight well off to our north and east on Thursday. Have this upper level trough and upper level low starting to move towards the region on Thursday night and Friday. Uh, that could give us a few sprinkles uh, in the area anytime on uh, Friday, especially Friday afternoon into the evening hours. Looks like those sprinkles could be moving towards the region. The European model here is showing that more likely during the evening hours on Friday. Uh, could see a light rain shower move through the region with this upper level uh, trough moving through the region. Once we move into Saturday and Sunday, going to continue to see this uh, broad upper level trough over the region. Uh, a few weak disturbances moving through that. Not going to see much in the way of precipitation on uh, Saturday or Sunday, but could see a good amount of cloudiness across the region, especially during the afternoon hours uh, with these upper level disturbances moving through. And then we move into our Monday. As I mentioned yesterday, forecast still looks fairly uncertain for Monday uh, with a upper level disturbance moving through the large scale upper level trough of the United of the eastern United States that could give us an additional chance of some rain showers on Monday. Uh, right now models are kind of all over the place for uh, that solution. Most likely it looks like it'll be a dry Monday and uh, some cooler weather looks like it could come in on Tuesday before we see a brief warm up for the middle of next week. So taking a look at our uh, risk chart for today, we'll see a high today, as I mentioned, around 58 to 59 degrees. That most likely will be during the late afternoon and evening hours. We'll see our winds pick up out of the southeast, 10 to 15 knots, gusts to 20 knots during the late afternoon and evening hours. And then we'll see our winds switch out of the northwest once that 
area low pressure moves uh, north and east of our region. Precipitation chances are likely today, seeing a red condition for our, our precipitation throughout the day into the evening hours, and then during the early overnight hours should see that rainfall start to move out of the region and north of the area uh, by about two local on Thursday. And we'll continue to see that slight chance of some mist or drizzle tomorrow morning. As far as our ceilings go, we'll see ceilings below 500 feet overnight with uh, visibility possibly reduced um, below a mile with some patchy fog in the region. Our 24-hour terminal forecast is going to see those ceilings lower uh, throughout the day to day and uh, seeing those ceilings below 500 feet after 1800 local and then continuing through Thursday at 8 local. A 20% chance of a thunderstorm from 20 local till 2's lo 2 local excuse me, on Thursday. So uh, seeing that slight chance of seeing an isolated thunderstorm with the area low pressure moving through. Our tides are half to one foot above normal and looking at uh, Thursday and Friday. Thursday overcast with low clouds likely during the morning becoming mostly cloudy in the afternoon. Chance of drizzle in the morning, a high of 57 degrees. Thursday night mostly cloudy. Very slight chance of sprinkle, low of 44. And for Friday mostly cloudy overcast, slight chance of a shower late. And that looks like it should be in the late afternoon or the evening hours, high around 55 degrees. Uh, looking at those ch the shower chances on Friday around 20 30 percent and uh, could see some low ceilings once again in the area anytime from Thursday uh, through Friday as we do have a decent amount of low level moisture in the region continuing. As we move into our seven day outlook, we're uh, going to see the temperatures warmest for today, tomorrow, and Friday in the 50s, and then seeing temperatures return towards normal uh, in the upper 40s to mid 40s from sun Saturday through Tuesday. Looks like the coolest of the next seven will be on Tuesday with area high pressure building in. Uh, with the temperatures in the mid 40s. Uh, seeing those uh, slight chances of rainfall after today, 30% uh, Friday evening and then a 20% on Monday uh, evening with that additional disturbance moving through. As I mentioned, uh, very uncertain for Monday whether that system actually does move through the region or not. Uh, looks like right now uh, mostly a dry forecast for the beginning of next week uh, for your New Year's Day. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day today. Back tomorrow morning at 15 at 10 a.m.